Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to clean your mouthpieces properly. Um, we're going to do it with some ebonite hard rubber mouthpieces and some metal ones as well and show you that it works on both. I have got my two mouthpieces that I'm currently using the most um, and I have saved up a bit of grubbiness so we can really show you how much it works. So this is my um, tenor mouthpiece I use. This is a um, a laser cut Gardala, really dirty, grubby one. And I've also got my Beechler, this is Beechler number six, a Bellite metal mouthpiece. Again, nice and grubby. We're going to have a look at how to clean it up, get all the, the grubbiness off the outside and the inside, um, but we're going to do an extra deep clean and we're actually going to get rid of some of the little white residues that you can find inside. You might find it if you've cleaned your mouthpiece out before that there's, there's some, some stuff that you just can't get off the inside. Now that's actually a calcium residue buildup. Um, it comes from my saliva and um, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that as well. So you should be able to get it pretty much spotless. And what I wanna know is that it's clean and sanitized um, and the inside, although the calcium thing isn't necessarily harboring germs if you sanitize your mouthpiece, it can build up to the point where it can affect your tone. If you get enough of it there, it's gonna, it's gonna actually interfere with the with the wave the creation of the waveform. So we're gonna get all that out, all that off. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get the stuff to clean the mouthpieces up, show you what we need, show you what you need to get together, um, and then I'll show you through the process. Move the camera and we'll have a little look. See those little tiny white dots inside? I can't scrub that off, it won't just wash off. Um, so that's the calcium deposit that I was talking about. So if you've got those, hang on um, till we've got the basic bit of cleaning done and I'll show you how to get rid of that in the second half of the video. Okay, so we've got a nice bit of warm water here. We're gonna put just a couple of drops of dish soap in there. Plenty. We really don't need much. Give that a little stir in. Now, we've got some nice warm water here. I don't recommend that you use hot water. As long as it's nice and comfortable to touch, you should be fine. Pop all your mouthpieces in. A lot of the stuff will be ready to come off within just a few minutes, but I like to leave them in there. Have a really good soak for a good, at least 20 minutes, if not a bit more. So what we're gonna do is pick out one. So we've got one, and you'll see any stuck on stuff should just brush off really nice and easily. As I say, I've got quite a bit of uh, metallic corrosion going on on the outside of these. Um, so ignore that. But you'll see a lot of stuff coming up as you do this. So you just get your, get your toothbrush, get it right in there. Give it a good scrub inside and out. It should all come off pretty quick. So what I am going to do as well, just to double check, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm not actually going to use the, the rough scary bit, I'm just using the normal bit of sponge. You can get a little bit more pressure on there with that. If you've got these uh, tooth guards, make sure you give them a really good scrub around the edges and the sides. Get right in there. Right, and that's most of the gunk off that. So I'm going to work my way through these other ones with the toothbrush and the sponge and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Mouthpiece is nice and dry, isn't it? So what we're going to do now, we're going to get some cotton wool. I'd prefer to have the actual cotton wool. I've got these cotton wool pads, but they'll do. And we're going to stuff it in. 
So what we're trying to do is make sure that these are in contact with all of the bits of the mouthpiece that we want to get any calcium deposits off. So say you'll have better luck with nice fluffy cotton wool, but uh, this should work as well. Now the cotton wool is to keep the lemon juice in contact with the metal. Now lemon juice is slightly acidic. It's not gonna you can also use white vinegar. Um, I wouldn't use brown vinegar because some people say that it stains it can stain plastic, so if you've got a hard if you've got a hard rubber mouthpiece, um, there are reports that people say that it can stain it. So I just stuff it full of cotton wool. Douse the cotton wool in lemon juice and you put it like that because what you're really trying to do is keep the lemon juice inside um, and I think people do that because they're trying to keep any delicate finishes on their mouthpieces. So I'm going to stuff all of these, put lemon juice in and then we're going to set that aside for a couple of hours. I'll come back to the one that I know it's got quite a bit of deposits on it. We'll check that one. If it's all gone, fantastic. If it's still a bit there, I'll just leave them all to carry on soaking for a bit longer. And uh, we'll see what we've got. made sure that the cotton wool is right up to the tip of each because the cotton wool is just to make sure that the lemon juice stays in contact with that um, with the mouthpiece the inside of the mouthpiece where any calcium deposits are um, and that could just keep it on there rather than running out drying out or having to soak the entire mouthpiece in a huge bowl full of lemon juice okay so I've left these for a couple of hours now um, I've had a little peek and it looks like quite a lot of it is just completely dissolved off. So we'll look at this one, it's quite nice and visible on, on this one. Looks better, so what we'll do is just dry that. All those white bits are gone. There is a tiny bit, I don't know if you can see it, just down the bottom there. And what I'm going to do is to see if I can scrub that out because um, it should all be softened now. Um, so what I've done is I've got my scissors and a little bit of that sponge and just created myself a little small scrubber here. So I'm going to stick that on this little cocktail stick. We'll just put a little a little drop on here so this is wet with lemon juice or a couple of drops okay didn't quite get that as precise as I was hoping um, right so I'm just going to get that in there and just give a very gentle gentle scrub and have a look yeah that's coming up pretty nice so um, anything that doesn't dissolve it seems to soften up quite nicely and pretty much perfect there so that's that one. Okay, so now I'm just going to go and rinse all these. Just literally rinse them under a tap, get all that lemon juice off. And then I'll show you just what we'll quickly do to disinfect them to make sure they're 100% germ free in case you've got any worries about that sort of thing. Okay, great, so there we have it. Now I've got my full collection of mouthpieces all completely cleaned. Um, all the calcium deposits gone. Um, now, if you want to disinfect them, you can either use a bit of uh, mouthwash, other brands are available, or get a little bit of vodka, if you've got any left. Um, 
and basically just get yourself a, you can either put a little bit into a into a mug um, or a little little container, sip the minute. You only need to put the minute for, you know, less than a minute really, it just needs to go in there um, for the alcohol on it to go over it and that will disinfect it. Um, or you can get a cotton bud and just, just put a bit of alcohol over everything. I mean for me, a little bit around these tooth guards would probably be good. That'll probably um, just get in any of those little nooks and crannies that you couldn't really get into. Um, and there you go, you've got completely clean, decalcified and disinfected mouthpieces. I really hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback if uh, these tips have worked for you. Um, if you do anything different yourself, let me know. Um, I'm going to be having a little look and see if I can find some good, safe and healthy ways to get rid of the, um, the tarnishing on the metal on the outside. I don't get any tarnishing on the inside, just on the outside. It seems to be where the, the ligature sits. Um, so I'm going to have a little look into um, how to get that off. But uh, if you've got any ideas for that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.